Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sule Umoru, and I've, I did, I previously did um, a video, a Fulani lesson. Uh, Fulani, of course, for those who don't know it, is my native language. It's a language, okay? It's not um, a, what do you call that? It's not, a, it's not a dialect or it's not a tribal language, it's a language, all right? I did a little video on how to count in Fulani from one to 10, and it got a lot of uh, a good, 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 good feedback on YouTube. And some people asked if I could do some more videos like that. So I know that there's a lot of people in America, a lot, a lot, I mean a lot of people um, descendant of Fulanis, yes. So I'm gonna do a lesson two today talk about the pronouns, like how I say I, or how I say you, or how I say um, him, or so stuff like that, simple stuff, you know, basic Fulani lessons, all right? So in full full day, all right, as I explained, we call ourselves full day, uh, full full day is the language. So in full full day, to say I um, is very close to English, it's, a, it's mean, like M-I-N, mean, okay? And if you're using it in a sentence, you say me, just like in English, M-E, me. So miyehi, meaning I went. Miyahan, I'm going, okay? Midawara, I'm coming. So it's just the me, that's I, okay? Yes, it's, it's pretty cool, I like that. You know, me and me is pretty much the same thing in West African Fulani and in English from the UK or the British or the United States of America. Anyways. Min is I, uh, me is if I'm using it in a sentence, okay? Min is I, me if I'm using it in a sentence. Um, for you, we say an, A-N, an or A-N-N, -N, an, an. And if you're using it in a sentence, you say a, just a, a, all right? Just a, ayahan, awari, you know, ayahan, are you going, awari, you came. Okay, so it's you. And just like in English, you is the same for women and for men, male or female, masculine, feminine, same thing, it's you. Okay, if you want to say him, you say hanko or kanko. So in Fulani, or at least in West African Fulani, the K and the H is always, is usually interchangeable. Wherever you can use the K, at the beginning of a word, you can also substitute with, uh, with, it, with an H. So hanko or kanko is him, okay? But if you're using it a sentence, it's not hanko, it's not kanko, it's o. It's just like o, letter o. Oyehi, owari, odili. Odili means he left, odili. If I want to say I left, I say midili. Or if I'm midillan, okay? So uh, I know I'm giving you a lot of uh, stuff here, but just bear with me. So, so min... An, hanko or kanko, and that's usual, that's uh, interchangeable for men or women, hanko or kanko. And then if I want to say we, I say min. Min or minen. Okay, so min, min, if I'm using it in a sentence. Minen, if I'm just talking about us, it's like we, minen or min. Okay, minen or min, that's we. All right. Uh, so minenjiri, we like, we would like. Uh, minen, are you talking about us? You say minen? So if I'm talking on behalf of the group, I say, I, I want to say, are you talking about us? I say minen, minen, okay? And uh, for you, plural, it's like I'm not uh, included, is onon, onon, onon. But if you're using it in a sentence, you just say on, okay? So onon. Or on, on jahan, or on on jaha. Okay, on on, that's, that's plural, that's you, plural. And then them, them, in, uh, in, in full full day, we say kampe or hampe. Okay, remember I said earlier, the, um, the K and the H at the beginning of the word is usually 99% interchangeable. You can say K instead of, instead of uh, H. So, hambe or kambe, that's them, plural. But if you're using it in a sentence, conjugating it, you say be. So, like hambe or kambe, that be, 
that's all you use to, to use it in a sentence. You say, Jahan. So they are going. Bejehi, they left. Begari, they came. Okay, so be. And be is a sound that is not really in any English word. Maybe a German person can say it. But be is be. I don't know, I'm gonna look at the microphone, make sure it's picked up correctly. So be. Be. It's not a B, it's not a D. It's between B and D. So it's not, it's not. Be is not be, it's not be, it's not de, it's be, be, all right? Got to come from here. So that's it. This is um, the pronouns. I think it's pronoun, it's called the pronoun. So, so in fulfulde is min, an, hanko or kanko, enen or en, uh, onon or on, and then hambe, obe, obe, if you're using it in a... In a, in a in a sentence so that's it guys uh, I hope you like this little video and at the end of this video I have a little bonus for you I'm gonna do uh, a tongue twister maybe in full food yes Fulani people have tongue tongue twisters as well oh, or seashells seashells by the she saw her. I cannot say none of those but in full food I can say all of them all the one I know anyways because it's my language when it's your language you know how to say it without thinking all right. So in full, the one tongue twister is la wanu ami fanu mun famru ami fanu mun famru anwo fiar di ami fanu wanu na wanu anwo fiar di ami fanu famru. All right. So if you know, if any Fulani from Guinea, Senegal, Mali, or somewhere see this and knows wanu ami fanu mun famru ami fanu mun tongue twisters, you know, if you know other tongue twisters you want to talk about, below, you know, comment. And I'll get back to you and let's get this conversation going. Thanks, man. Like Hussein Bolt.